Hello, my name is Ali Youssefi. Welcome to the Test Automation and Easy Repro series. In this edition, we will cover configuring test. We will cover the test settings, browser options, other configurable settings, UCI app name, browser driver factory. We'll include a short demo to locate each one of these, and finally some references. The test settings object is located in the sample unit test project. It's used to create the browser options object from which Easy Repro Framework decides how to configure the browser. It's a combination of static and configurable values. The configurable values are located in an app.config file. As you'll see, there's three main areas. There's the browser options, which is how we configure the browser the app settings and who we're going to log into and what org we're going to go to, and the UCI app name, which is the UCI application we wish to navigate to. For configuring the browser, we use the browser options object. This has properties such as browser type, private mode, driver's path, headless, default think time, and UCI test mode. Other configurable settings include the username password, the URL, an Azure key for application insights, the browser type, such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, remote browser type, and remote hub server for using Selenium server. The UCI app name class is used to determine which UCI application we will be navigating to. This can be extended to include custom UCI applications or modified. As you see at the bottom, it's used with the open app method. The UCI app name class is used to determine which UCI application we will be navigating to. This can be extended to include custom UCI applications or modified. As you see at the bottom, it's used with the open app method. The browser driver factory is used to set the iWebDriver object that's used and consumed by Easy Repro. This is configured from the browser options class shown earlier and is driven by a browser type enum. It uses the driver's path and overload methods to provide configuration arguments to the driver, and this can be extended to use browsers not currently located in the Easy Repro framework. I'll now perform a demo to show the following, locating the test settings file, locating the browser options object, locating the app.config file, locate the UCI app name object, and locate the browser driver factory. Welcome to this demo of Easy Repro configuring test. For this demo, I've opened up the create case class file located in the UCI folder of the sample unit test project. Once opened, you will see that there's three different private strings and URIs that we will be working with. The username, the password, and the XRM URI. Each of these is found inside of the application.config file that's also located in the sample project. Here you'll see the app.config file open with the app settings node shown. Inside of the app settings node, you will find the same three properties, online username, online password, and online CRM URL. These correlate to what is in this create case class to this username, password, XRM, URI. In here, I'll set the username, something like test user at domain.com. Your password here will be clear text. So please do not check this into source control or share this with others. Finally, you have the online CRM U, uh, URL this will look something like this. You'll have your name of your instance, 
here with the main.aspx. There's also another setting that's key to point out, which is browser type, which in this case we're using Chrome, but you can see you can use IE, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Remote. Going back to the create case, we see that there's a web client being created with the test settings.options passed in. Let's take a look at the options. Here you'll see options is a browser options object that has the browser type, which we set in the app.config, as well as other properties such as private mode, fire events, headless, and so on. So for us, we're doing private mode equals true, meaning we're running in private or incognito mode. Headless false means we'll see the interactive experience. Also inside of the test settings file, you'll find a class called UCI app name. This is how Easy Repro knows which UCI app to pick from the pick list. The out of the box ones include Sales Hub, Customer Service Hub, Project Resource Hub, and Field Resource Hub. This could be extended to include your own custom UCI applications or modified. As you see with the create case test, we are using the customer service. So now that we've shown the browser options and the browser type, let's navigate to the browser driver factory, which is located in the microsoft.dynamics365.uiautomation.browser project. Inside of browser driver factory, you will find a create web driver method. This essentially is a switch statement that says which browser we are going to use. In this case, we passed in the string Chrome, so it will use Chrome. Create the default service provides particular arguments for Chrome, as you see here. Chrome options. Peeking inside browser options, we see to Chrome, which allows us to pass in particular arguments. This again can be extended to add whatever arguments you want. This concludes the configuring test demo. Finally, we'll leave with some references to the Easy Repro GitHub re repo and to a blog post called Designing and Debugging Easy Repro Unit Test. Thank you for watching this edition of the Test Automation and Easy Repro series. You can find my contact information in the slide here as well as in the description below. Thanks.